Ugh. 3 a.m. Oh, that nightmare was awful. And now I can't get back to sleep. And why do I get the horrible feeling that something is wrong? Like, really wrong. Oh, God. It's just my anxiety again. I have to stop overthinking everything. <laughs> yeah, like, that's so easy. <sighs> this is stupid. Why can't I shake this feeling? This feeling that something's wrong. I feel like I need to talk to her, but... God, I can't call her at this hour. I'm just worried. That nightmare about her really fucked with my head. I just... I just need to hear her voice and know that she's okay. <laughs> God, if I call her, she is going to be so pissed that I woke her up. Come on, you can call her in the morning. Hell, just... Send her a text and she can call you when she gets up. Oh my god. Why am I even more worried now? I just need to lay down and go to sleep. But... <sighs> Fuck it. She won't be pissy with me long. If the roles were reversed and... She had a nightmare that I brutally died like that. I'd want her to call me. Sure, I'd be grumpy as hell at first, but... Well, I'd do anything to reassure her. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. See? She's sleeping. Not gonna wake up. I just need to leave it alone. But... That pit in my stomach... It is getting worse. Okay, don't get too upset with me. I just... I just... needed to talk to you for a second. I, um... I had a nightmare, and I... Hey. Are... Are you alright? You don't sound like you just woke up. You sound like you've been crying. Is everything okay? Don't tell me yes. I, I can tell when you're lying. What's wrong? Please talk to me. I had this feeling I needed to call you... I almost didn't, but I'm really glad I did. I'm sorry that you're having a rough night. Why didn't you call me? Yeah, didn't want to wake me up. That's the reason I nearly didn't call you. But I knew that if you needed reassurance from me, I would have been okay with you waking me up. So come on, you know you can call me at any time, day or night. I'm always here for you. You know that. Wait. Why are you crying harder? Do I... Do I need to come over? No. Hmm. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I believe that. Stay on the phone with me, okay? Something's not sitting right with me, and... I know there's something you're not telling me. Uh, besides, I had a shitty nightmare and I need to know that you're okay. So, if you won't let me comfort you, at least let me come over so you can comfort me, okay? I need you. Yeah, I'm getting in my car now. Please, please talk to me. What's, what's going on? Why can't you sleep? And 
Why are you crying? Hang on. I'm on my way. Look, I know you're in there. I'm on the phone with you right now. Now you can either let me in or I'm unlocking the door with my key and I'm coming in anyway. Look, you're making me nervous. In fact, I'm not too proud to say it, but I'm actually kind of scared right now. Okay. You've got until the count of three and then I'm coming in. And once I'm inside, I'm going to hang up, okay? One. Two. Three. Damn. I know it's the middle of the night, but it seems extra dark in here for someone who's been up all night. Where the hell is she? Hey, where are you? Don't make me call you again just to figure out where you're at. I know you're in here somewhere. Hey, are you... are you in here? Huh. Now that my eyes have adjusted to the darkness, I... Oh! There she is. She's sitting on the floor, propped up against the side of her bed. Hey there, what are you doing? Hey, come on, scooch over. Let me sit down with you. Ugh. Hey, why is it so dark in here? I mean, I know it's the middle of the night, but... Hey, what's that in your hands? Hey, gorgeous. Do you... Do you have a bottle of pills? Why do you have those? No, no, no. No, there's no way she's... Hey. Please listen to me. I, I need you to answer me and answer me honestly. Those pills? Have you taken any? Not yet. So you were planning to? The whole thing? Please answer me honestly. Please? Give me that bottle. Please give me the bottle. I would feel better if you didn't have it right now. Thank you. There's... There's not more, is there? You haven't taken anything else? No? Good. Can you... Can you tell me what's wrong? I mean, I know you've been battling depression, but... What's... What's pushed you to this point? Tonight? Mm. Oh, love. Love, why didn't you tell me? I want to know this stuff. I, I want to be able to be with you when you need help. God knows you've been by my side for all sorts of things. You need to let me be here for you, now. No, don't give me the you don't deserve it shit. Yeah, it's bullshit. Can I hug you? Come here. It's okay. It's okay. I've got you. I'm here for you. And I'm sorry I didn't see sooner just how much pain you were in. You mean the world to me. 
ever thought that I might have lost you tonight? It tears me up inside. I mean, you're a wonderful person. No, 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 no. You don't get to disagree with me. Not about this. You don't get to because your mind is sick. And because it's sick, it's skewing your view of everything about yourself. You understand that, right? Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. It's okay. Hey. Hey. You know what I love most about you? Your willingness to help everyone and everything. It doesn't matter if it's a friend, a family, or a stranger on the street, or someone you've never met across the world. Your desire to help? <laughs> love. You're amazing. And you're funny. And you're smart. But love, y you can't always put other people's needs before your own. I know it feels selfish, but I promise you it's not. You, you can't keep putting yourself last. You need to take some of that love and give it to yourself. I, I know. I know. Right now that seems impossible, but I promise you it's not. We're gonna get you some help, okay? I didn't know it had gotten this bad. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. No, don't freak out. I'm gonna be with you every step of the way. I promise you that. But we can't let you go on like this. If... If I hadn't had that nightmare... If I hadn't come over here... What would have happened? We both know what would have happened. I, I can't risk this. I can't risk losing you. You might not think you're worth it, but I promise you, you are. You are everything to me. So whether you want me to or not, I am getting you help. And you can be as mad as you want at me. You can yell and scream and do whatever you need to. But I, I'm not risking losing you. What? No. No, no, no. You're not crazy. No, you're just sick. Your brain is sick. It's no different than if you had pneumonia or, or a broken leg. Would you... Would you blame your lungs for the pneumonia? <laughs> of course not. That's ridiculous, right? So, why would you blame your brain for being sick? Why do you blame yourself for it? Sickness is sometimes unavoidable. I mean, nobody sets out to have pneumonia. But... When something like that happens, when we get hurt, when we're sick, we seek out help. This is no different than going to the doctor for the flu. And that stigma of mental illness can shove itself up its own ass, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, let me pose it to you a different way. You remember when I was dealing all with that shit a couple of years ago? Do you remember what you said to me? I do, because I think about it every single day. 
You said that I was not my trauma. So switch places. Let's say it's me crying in your arms. Would you blame me? Would you say that I'm weak or selfish? Because I was considering the quote-unquote easy way out? No. No, of course not. You'd help. You would get me help. You would be there for me. So, so why do you get to feel these things about yourself? <laughs> That's it. You can cry. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's healthy. And... When you've cried all of this out, we're going to get you some help. Okay? There's no shame in someone helping you. I mean, you're not a doctor. You can't fix your own broken leg. What makes you think that you can fix your own head? I mean, do you just will your broken leg to heal? No. You go to a doctor. They set it. They bandage it. They cast it. They monitor it while it heals. Maybe they give you some medicines to help with the pain or whatever. This is no different. You can't just will yourself out of this. So, you and I are going to get you help. Even if I have to drag you kicking and screaming, okay? Because I will not lose you. I can't lose you. Okay? You are so goddamn important to me. And to so many others, whether you believe it or not. So while your brain is sick, can you trust me enough to let me help you? Please? I promise I will be with you every, every step of the way. Please, if you ever, ever, ever feel that this is the only answer, you promise me you call me first before you do anything. Promise me. (laughs) Thank you. I know what your promises mean. I will not lose you. If you can't fight like hell for yourself, then let me do it. And don't, don't shut me out, okay? You're everything to me. And I don't know what I would do if I ever lost you. Thank you. Thank you for trusting me.